What's up my Beard Rose Beard Maniac here with another NBA pick video and I have some disappointing news if you are if, if you watch this series which not many people do but I'm still doing it because you know the NBAs are something that everyone usually cares about. Get the fuck out of here Justice! I don't have time for your shit! Now disappointing news is um, last week we had our very first losing record out of 49 games we went 24 and 25 we were literally one game off of a winning record and there was a lot of close games and a lot of games I could have never predicted going like they did. But am I upset that they went that way? No. That's what the NBA is about. That's what sports are about. You can't be 100% all the time. Luckily I never am. You take it game by game and see how it goes from there. Anyway, this week we kind of have a stacked week 54 games. There are some really solid matchups. So if you do have like NBA whatever Sunday tick or league pass or whatever it's called I'd say check out some of these games because there's gonna be some good one-on-one -on -one matchups some good team matchups and shit like that and whether the score is not close the, the matchups alone will keep it entertaining enough barring Embiid not actually being that seriously hurt hopefully he's okay now we start off with Saturday we have Blazers at Celtics I'm picking the Celtics we have Wizards at Pistons I am picking the Wizards why I do not know I just feel like they're the Wizards and might cast a spell uh, on me now we got Nets Hornets I'm picking the Hornets at home we have 76ers at the Hawks I was gonna originally pick the 76ers but where Embiid left the game early I switched my pick to the Hawks we got Suns and Knicks I'm picking the Knicks we have Bucks Heat I'm picking the Bucks here Giannis Antetokounmpo he's He's going to be the difference maker here. Then we have Rockets, Grizzlies. I'm picking the Rockets. Spurs, Cavs. This is going to be one of the entertaining matchups I was talking about. You, ha I was going to pick the Spurs, but the Cavs are at home, so I decided to go with them. I don't know why. We have Kawhi Leonard going head-to-head -head with LeBron James. Tony Parker and Kyrie Irving. Look. Mar Aldridge and LaMarcus Aldridge and Kevin Love. So there's some good one on one matchups in that game. This is more of a good team matchup, actually. Then we have Clippers Nuggets with Chris Paul out. I'm tempted to pick the Nuggets, but I want them to show me something a little more before I start picking them more. They gotta show me that something, because I don't know if they have that something yet. We have the Pacers Jazz, and I'm picking the Jazz here, and we have the Kings going to. Chicago, so I'm gonna pick the Chicago Bulls, even though I probably shouldn't. Don't let me down, Bulls. We have Sunday, we have four games. We have Warriors at Magic. If the Magic win, I will eat my shorts. <laughs> I'm picking the Warriors. We have Lakers, Mavs. I'm picking the Mavs. They're at home. They should hold home court in this one against a subpar Lakers team. We have Suns and Raptors. I'm picking the Raptors here. They're at home, even though they've been underperforming lately. We have Nuggets, Timberwolves. I'm going to pick the Timberwolves here. They got more physical young talent than the Nuggets. The Nuggets have really solid young talent, but the Timberwolves are more physical. Then Monday, we have Wizards at Hornets. I'm picking the Hornets here. Once again, reason they're at home. Then we have Spurs Nets. Like I said before, if the Magic beat the Warriors, well, if the Nets eat the Spurs, I'll eat my underwear. I don't fucking care. That shit ain't happening. If it does, it's because Pop's resting him. But then, which he might actually, because it is a back-to-back. -back. They have to go to Toronto the day after. But then again, it's not that far of a trip. Clippers, Hawks, I'm picking the Hawks. Warriors, Heat, picking the Warriors. Kings, Pistons, I'm picking the Pistons. Then we have the Rockets, Bucks, I'm picking the Rockets. Cavs, Pelicans, picking the Cavs here. Interesting matchup with... Possibly Kevin Love versus Anthony Davis. Both of them play the perimeter and inside quite well. Knicks Pacers picking the Pacers here. Thunder Jazz picking the Jazz. Now, with the possibility of Carmelo being traded from New York, will they trade him to a team like the Thunder to give Wes Westbrook not only Oladipo but also Carmelo Anthony? That could be a dangerous team. And he could help fill the gap left by Kevin Durant. Not fill it completely, but help fill it. 
And then we have Tuesday. We have Celtics Wizards. Will the Celtics make a push to trade for Carmelo Anthony? That's going to be interesting to follow. I'm picking the Celtics. I'm picking all road teams today. I'm picking the Spurs over Raptors, Clippers over Sixers, Bulls over Magic, Jazz over Nuggets, Timberwolves over Suns. Because it's going to be a road sweep Tuesday. Actually, it's not. There's probably going to be two or three teams losing, knowing my luck. But hey, I'm picking a road sweep. And Wednesday, we have a big slate of 10 games. We have Rockets at Celtics. I'm picking the Rockets because the Celtics are facing a back-to-back. -back going from Washington to Boston. Even though it's not far of a trip, still there can be some fatigue there, especially against a tough physical Rockets team. We have Kings-Cavs. I'm picking the Cavs. Heat-Nets, picking the Heat. Hawks-Bulls, picking the Hawks. Uh, 76ers Bucks, I'm picking the Bucks here. Raptors-Grizzlies, I'm picking the Grizzlies. Thunder-Pelicans, I'm picking the Thunder. Why? Because Russell Westbrook. Warriors, Hornets, I'm picking the Warriors. Knicks, Mavs, picking the Knicks here. As to why, I have no fucking clue. Carmelo's probably going to be gone by then. Or if he is. Or if he's going to be traded, hopefully he's gone by then. Lakers, Blazers, I'm going to pick the Blazers here. Why? Even though they let me down in the last couple weeks? I don't know. I believe they deserve a second chance. And if not, I'll, I'll, sh I'll punch Lillard in the face in the next game I play against the Blazers on here. Because Lillard's a good guy, but he needs to be a better supporting cast. Besides just CJ McCollum. Those two can't do it by themselves. We have Mavs, Thunder. I was debating on picking an upset here because the Thunder just coming off a tough game against the Pelicans. Going from New Orleans back to Oklahoma City might wear them down a little bit, but... I picked the Thunder. We have Pacers, Timberwolves picking the Pacers, Suns, Nuggets picking the Nuggets, Lakers, Jazz picking all that jazzy shit in Utah, even though that makes no goddamn sense. How about this? How about that? How was this for an idea? I saw this on someone else's video. The Utah Jazz, Memphis Grizzlies swap team names. So it'd be the Memphis Jazz and the Utah Grizzlies, because there's actually Utah, or Utah actually has Grizzly Bears in it. Surprisingly, Memphis has none. And Utah, having Grizzlies, has no connection to Jazz. And Memphis is like the home of the Blues. So if they wanted to, they could change it to the Utah Grizzlies and the Memphis Blues. Because that would actually make more sense. Fucking Grizzlies, I still don't understand that shit. Then Friday we have a big slate of games. Some good ones. We have Celtics Magic. We have Pacers Kings. Cavs Nets. I'm picking the home team Celtics Pacers Cavs. We have Bucks at Raptors, picking the Raptors. Hornets at Knicks, picking the Hornets. Rockets at Sixers, picking the Rockets. Because, like I said, don't know if Embiid's going to be healthy by then. Heat, Bulls, picking the Bulls. Spurs, Pelicans, picking the Spurs. Kawhi Leonard, will he, or LaMarcus Aldridge, will he be guarding Anthony Davis? That's going to be interesting to watch. Wizards, Hawks, picking the Hawks. And last game of the week, Grizzlies, Blazers. I'm going to pick the Grizzlies here on the road to take down the Blazers. For hopefully a 33-21 and 21 record this week. I'm aiming a little low because of last week. But hopefully my ceiling that I want to get is 38-16. and 16, But I'm hoping not to go negative. So I hope the worst I do is 28-26. and 26, Because if I go negative again, that's just, that's just a bad omen for the future. Because the season is barely halfway, not even halfway over yet. Or if it's halfway over, it's barely halfway over. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next video if you like this. You never know what's going to be coming up tomorrow. It's Sunday. It's Sunday fun day. It will probably be either Iron Banner loot or my last placement match for competitive Overwatch. Or who knows, it could be both. But playoff Sunday with my Patriots playing in the AFC Championship game. Might not have the time to do it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.